Hi, everybody. Welcome to our show. This is English Digest, and I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Stephanie, I got a little、yeah. bit of a problem today. I got this song running through my head, and I just can't get it out. Da 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 da. Wild horses could not drag me away from you.、Uh, that's an old. <laughs>、uh, I can't forget the. Guy's I don't name, know but, that song, Tom.、Uh, yeah, it was like、uh, one of the <laughs> first songs I heard on the radio when I came to Taiwan way back in 1987.、Oh. And I just can't get that song out of my head for some reason. Hmm.、Uh, maybe you have earworms on the brain. Earworms on the brain. That doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> doesn't、here. that sound awful? An、Ugh. earworm, some kind of worm inside my brain. My、Yee. goodness, that could eat my brain out, and I would go insane. But no, we're not actually talking about actual worms inside your head. <laughs> earworm here just refers to when there is a song that is stuck in your head, and you just keep hearing it over、yeah. and over again. And well, you might like it, but most of the time it can be kind of annoying. Is kinda, that ever、no. happened to you? Oh yeah, of course. It kind of drives you crazy, especially if you really don't like the song.、Mm. You know, those are the ones that stick in your brain. Okay, we're going to talk about what that feels like and discuss some of these words here. But first, guys, as we always do, we're going to read through our article first. Imagine taking an important exam at school. As you begin writing, you're suddenly struck by a tune that keeps repeating in your head. You try to concentrate, but you can't stop hearing the chorus to "Let It Go." Oddly enough, you don't like the song at all. Even so, you've clearly been sabotaged by an earworm. An earworm is a part of a song that gets stuck in your brain, cycling and looping ad nauseum. To date. Scientists haven't been able to determine why earworms occur. Some earworms occur after we hear a catchy song frequently in a short period of time. Yet this isn't the only situation in which earworms crawl. Songs that people haven't heard in decades can turn into earworms for seemingly no reason. According to one theory, these blast from the past earworms are linked to involuntary memory. Some experts believe that our brains link melodies and lyrics to different emotions and visual cues. For example, a person may have heard Justin Bieber's hit "Baby" on the radio when they were feeling depressed as a teenager. Five years later, they might be feeling depressed about a different matter, and the song will start to play in their heads on an endless loop. If an earworm is driving you insane, there are some ways to dislodge it from your brain. Researchers believe that focusing on a different task can sometimes be a cure for earworms. For starters, try chewing gum. Studies suggest that jaw movements can interfere with auditory memories and imagined sounds. If that doesn't work, you can read a novel or some anagrams. Focusing on the text is helpful to distract your mind from earworms. Unfortunately. Neither of these methods is guaranteed to be 100% effective. Thus, you might have to deal with the melody of paparazzi bouncing around in your head until it eventually fades away. Okay, guys, we're going to dive right in.、Uh, we're talking about earworms on the brain. It's interesting because my nephew had sent me a piece of news about worms getting into someone's brain and it、uh -oh. killed her, and、Ooh. so that's what I thought we were going to talk about when I saw the title.、Um, but it seems that earworm. The word itself really does refer to a catchy piece of music that just keeps repeating over and over again in your brain, and you can't get it out. It seems like only the songs I really dislike. Do that in my brain. Yeah, like、uh, too much time on my hands. An old Sticks song、oh, that used that to、one. go through my head, and that's because I worked at a Pizza Hut, and people、oh. always played that on the jukebox.、Uh -huh. I hate that song,、oh. but sometimes it just I starts. Like sticks.、Uh, I, I don't anymore. I、oh. used to think they were okay, but after I worked at Pizza Hut, and、Drove、they kept、nuts. playing that song on the jukebox, and、uh, Elvira by the Oak Ridge Boys. That's another song I've heard enough of, and I never want to hear again. <laughs> So here's a scenario, a situation that we're going to paint for you. Imagine taking an important exam at school. That's pretty easy to imagine.、Mm. 
As you begin writing, you're suddenly struck by a tune that keeps repeating in your head. If you're struck by something, it happens kind of quickly, and it kind of jerks you, you know, jerks you、uh, attention, it jerks you to attention, I should say.、Mm. Uh, so you're struck by something, you're like, oh, just kind of comes suddenly. We use strike to talk about earthquakes and earthquake strikes, lightning strikes. It's quick, quick and fast, and it gets a lot of attention. That's right. So here you're starting to take a test, and then a song pops into your head. You're suddenly struck by a tune that keeps repeating, keeps repeating, keeps repeating in your head over and over again. Now you try to concentrate. Of course, if you concentrate, you focus your attention on one thing, and you don't let yourself be distracted. Of course, when you're driving, you need to concentrate, or you might cause an accident, and a Of course, when you're studying or when you're taking an exam, you need to concentrate, and the noun form is concentration. So you try to concentrate on your test, but you just can't stop hearing the chorus、mm. to let it go.、Oh. Now, I hate that song. Yeah, chorus can mean a couple of things, right? Yeah,、uh, a chorus is just the part of the song that repeats several times. It's pretty much the most popular part of the song. If you know "Let It Go," it's from the movie Frozen. Let it go, let, let it, go, it go. I hate that song.、Go. Yeah, I've heard that、yeah. enough too. A chorus can also be a group of people singing together.、Uh-huh. But here we're talking about, as Stephanie said, part of the, the part、song. of a song that repeats、uh, two or three times with the same the words.、Song. Yeah. Now it says here, oddly enough, you don't like the song at all. Usually, those are the earworm, earworms that we get. You know, the songs we can't stand. Well, even so, you you've clearly been sabotaged by an earworm. Sabotage. Notice how we pronounce that. It's not sabotage.、Mm. Sabotage means something's. Deliberately trying to get in your way or damage something you're trying to do, get、uh, get in the way so you can't achieve your purpose.、Uh, sometimes when people are running for political office, their opponents will try to sabotage them by planting false news, you know, and、mm. and having people report things that aren't true. So if you're sabotaged by something, here we're talking about you studying for a test. Your goal is to study well so you can get a good grade. If that earworm comes into your brain and you can't get rid of it, it really gets in the way of you studying effectively. Right, or if it happens to be a song that、uh, has all the answers to the questions and the lyrics, that might help. But that's wishful thinking. It's probably not going to happen. Well, let's move on now to the next paragraph. Here it says, "An earworm is a part of a song that gets stuck in your brain, cycling and looping ad nauseum." Okay,、mm-hmm. so we've already pretty much explained what an earworm is. It's a part of a song, not the whole song, but a、yeah. part, like the chorus or something, or maybe the intro. Or maybe the guitar solo. It could be just three words of the song that just stick in your brain. Yeah, every, like let it go. <laughs> yeah, through the words, and I was just saying a guitar solo. Every once in a while, the guitar solo from My Sharona pops into my head. Oh, I happen to like that actually. But in any case,、huh. here, if something gets stuck someplace, that means. It's stuck there. It can't move away from there,、yeah. and so it gets stuck in your brain. You want to forget about it, and it's cycling. A cycle is just going around in circles、mm-hmm. and looping.、Uh, that's something that is done in music, where you find the beginning of a passage and then the end, and then you just have it repeat over and over. You have it repeat over and over. You have it repeat over and over. Okay, Tom. That's looping. Stop.、Mm. Ad nauseum is uh, uh, actually a Latin phrase. It just means、uh, something's happening to the point where it's making. You sick, or it's just disgusting. Because if you're nauseous,、um, it's a feeling where your body feels like you want to throw up or vomit. Right, ad nauseum. It just happens so much that it makes you want to puke. And here it says today. Puke is, fl- is we should tell them. Puke is slang. Vomit and throw up are more traditional. There are all sorts of ways to describe phrases, the action.、Yeah. To regurgitate. That's the scientific to term. To barf. There's to another barf, one. To barf. To blow chunks, etc. Okay. <laughs> They're all different ways to say that you are <laughs> throwing up. Yeah. And so yes, uh, this uh, cycle or this part of a song is looping and cycling in your brain. Ad nauseum, and to date or up to now, to、mm-hmm. the present. 
present time, scientists haven't been able to determine why earworms occur. Yes, scientists try to study these things, but there are all sorts of questions in science that are not answered, and they're still trying to figure out exactly why this happens. And if you want to figure out why something happens, you need to determine why this happens.、Uh, that means you try to basically figure out the cause of something. Yeah. So some earworms occur after we hear a catchy song, frequently in a short period of time. If it's catchy,、uh, it's something that's easy to remember. A lot of companies these days try to have either a catchy song that accompanies their commercials or advertisements, or they have a slogan, like、uh, an old Nike slogan that we grew up with was "Just do it,"、mm. like go out there and you know exercise. Don't plan or think about it or complain. Just do it. So. Something that's catchy is easy for your brain to remember, and some of these tunes, the melody is the tune of a song. It's just is easy to remember, and it kind of sticks in your brain, so it's catchy. Yeah, yeah, that reminds me of some old Sai Eling songs. I don't want to sing them here, but they are based kind of on catchy melodies. So when you hear it, oh, that's a catchy song. I'm gonna sing that、oh. to myself. Unfortunately, yeah, one of her songs became an earworm for me, and I just couldn't get it out of my head.、Mm. I was so depressed. But in any case, here, yes, that's what an earworm is. It happens when you hear this catchy tune. Uh, in a short period of time, so yes, you might hear a catchy tune on the radio, and a part of it, maybe the chorus, maybe the intro, as I、yeah. said, or maybe the main melody of it, will get stuck in your head, and you just can't get rid of it. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a break right now. We'll continue talking about this very fascinating subject in just a couple of seconds. But right now, here comes our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 今天我们要介绍一个新的名词，叫做 earworm。在这里呢，解释成为洗脑的歌曲。我们首先来看到，在第一段的一刚开始，你就会发现想要专注，可是却无法呢，不听到这样子 let it go 的这样子的副歌。那么延续这样子的句意，第一个空格后面的句子就提到 ，You don't like the song at all. Even so, you You've clearly been sabotaged by an earworm. 在后面提到你根本就不喜欢这首歌，那么甚至呢，很显然的，这个歌曲已经妨碍到你了。延续这样子的文艺，连接前后句，我们来看一下第一题的 A 选项。That is to say， 也就是说 ，B oddly enough， 说也奇怪。C as a consequence， 因此。D on the whole, 整体上来说，那么明明呢就想要专注，却没有办法呢一直回想这个副歌。那么又加上后面根本不喜欢这个歌曲，所以可以搭配句意的就是 B 选项 oddly enough， 说也奇怪，就是不喜欢这歌，却又一直想起。所以第一题的标准答案就选择 B。第二段一刚开始就提到。An earworm is a part of a song that gets stuck in your brain, cycling and looping ad nauseum. 在这里就来诠释一下什么叫做洗脑歌。它就是一首歌的一部分，然后深陷在你的脑海里，一直重复循环到你想要作呕的感觉。第二个空格的句子提到 ，some earworms occur after we hear a catchy song blank two in a short period of time. 什么时候洗脑歌会出现呢？就是因为我们在短时间内怎么样，然后呢，我们听到一首朗朗上口的歌曲。那么我们来看一下第二题 A 选项 ，frequently 频繁地。次数很多的 ，B temporarily 暂时的 ，C specifically 特别的 ，D absolutely 绝对的。为什么会一直回想起这个洗脑歌呢？正是因为你在一个短时间内呢，一直频繁的听到了这首歌，所以第二题的正确答案就选 A frequently。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Okay, let's continue with our lesson where we left off. We're talking about. Uh, why earworms occur, and sometimes they occur after we hear a catchy song or a catchy tune. And if we hear it a lot of times, and we hear it in a short period of time, then an earworm can begin. Yet, or still, this isn't the only situation in which earworms crawl. And here we're talking about earworms, and the author here is very cleverly using the word "crawl" because an earworm, like a snake, if it wants to move across the ground, it crawls. Yeah, a baby will crawl too.、Uh, after what, a couple of months after it's born, maybe six months or so, it'll start no, crawling. No, no. Something I, I don't yeah, remember the exact time. Yeah, nine months maybe. Oh, maybe、know. a little later than that.、Yeah. Yes. Okay. So indeed,、uh, we're talking about earworms just being active in your head. Again, it's not a real worm inside your head. No. This is just talking about when there's some music in your head. So songs that people haven't heard in decades. A decade is ten years. So maybe a song you haven't even heard for twenty, thirty years. Some of you haven't been alive that long. We know can turn into earworms for seemingly no reason. We don't even know why some songs just pop into our head for no reason. Well, according to one theory, this is、uh, someone's idea here. These blast from the past earworms are linked to involuntary memory. Uh, sometimes we'll say when we're having a good time, we'll say, "Oh, I'm having a blast." That's a noun.、Hmm. So a blast from the past is something from the past that is connected with really good memories. You had a great time, so it's a blast from the past. An old friend, oh, he's a blast from the past. Somebody I had a lot of fun with in the past. And usually it refers to something from the past appearing suddenly. Hey,、yep. that was a blast from the past to watch that movie again. I remember watching that movie when I was a kid, etc. Or as you said, when an old friend suddenly appears out of nowhere. Hey, Neil, I haven't seen you since、yeah. junior high. You haven't changed a bit. But in any case, we're talking about some songs that you may have heard twenty or thirty years ago popping into your head.、Uh-huh. Oh yeah, Billy Jean is popping into my head for some reason. Why would that Michael Jackson song? Be coming out of nowhere. That song's like twenty years old,、mm-hmm. and maybe we're, more. We're saying that it's sometimes linked, or usually linked to involuntary memory.、Mm. These are memories that you don't actually try to、uh, remember. I mean, there are some things that I want to remember because they were good memories, and so I'll actually think about the past. These are involuntary memories that come into our brain. If something's involuntary, it's done or it happens without us actually controlling it. Uh, so sometimes、um, I'll have an involuntary、uh, reaction. Maybe I didn't mean to react the way I did, but my body just couldn't help it. Sometimes if it's really cold outside, your body will kind of shiver. That's involuntary. You're not saying, "Ooh, I want to move my body really fast because I'm cold." It's involuntary. It's not something you control. A hiccup. <gasps> Is involuntary as、True. well. We don't want that to happen.、Mm. And this is, of course, linked to involuntary memory—just memories that come out into our conscious mind, and we can't control them. And some experts believe that our brains link melodies, or they connect the melodies together and the lyrics to different emotions and visual cues. So, yeah, if you're feeling sad, for example, that might make you think of an old song.、Mm. If you're feeling happy,、yeah. a song might come up. And also visual cues. If you see something. Thing. Oh, I haven't seen a cedar tree in a long time. That really reminds me of an old song, and it pops into your head. Yeah. Well, some experts believe that our brains link these melodies and lyrics to different emotions and visual cues. Like、uh, Tom was explaining, just seeing something can kind of trigger or start something in your brain. Here's one example. Justin Bieber, for example, a person may have heard Justin Bieber's hit "Baby, Baby, Baby, Baby." You know that song? Oh、uh, no! Yeah, it doesn't doesn't ring Tom, a bell. Tom, it's it's a little too current for you. Maybe so.、Yeah. And it was a while ago. So this、uh, hit "Baby" on the radio, they may have heard it when they were feeling kind of low, kind of blue, kind of depressed when they were teenagers. So five years later, they might be feeling a little depressed about something completely different. Because they're older now, but that song will start to play in their head, because that's what they would think 
when they were depressed as a teenager. So that song is linked to feeling kind of depressed or blue. So it's an interesting connection. That's just one theory an expert has. Ah,、uh, yes, indeed. So maybe、uh, a Justin Bieber song would be associated with some kind of sad moments in your life when you had your first breakup or something like that. And then five years later, they might be feeling depressed about a different matter, and the song will start to play in their heads on an endless loop. There is that loop again. Yeah, a circle that goes around and around and around. Yeah, loops are often used in sampling、uh, in modern dance music and hip hop and stuff、mm -hmm. like that. They use sampling and loops a lot, so things are just repeating. Well, let's move on now to the third and final paragraph here, or the last paragraph for today. It says, if an earworm is driving you insane, if it's driving you crazy, there are some ways to dislodge it from your brain. Insane, of course, means you're crazy. And of course, this phrase to drive someone crazy means something is so annoying it's causing you to go bonkers,、wow. to go bananas. That song is driving me crazy. It's driving me insane. So, how do you dislodge it from your brain? To dislodge just means to remove something that is stuck. Like, for example, if you have corn stuck between your teeth, you want to use a toothpick to dislodge it. Yeah, <laughs> be careful when you do that, though.、Mm. Now, researchers believe that focusing on a different task, something that you have to do, can sometimes be a cure for earworms. So, if you're doing one thing and you start hearing that song, change it up. Start doing something else completely different, and hopefully that song will go away. What I'll do sometimes is I'll just actually put on my、uh, music and just force it out of my head by listening to something completely different. Mm, indeed. So right now I've got、uh, cosmic surfing going through my head by the Yellow Magic Orchestra, but I like that song, so I don't mind. Never heard of it. But them, if、okay. I wanted to get that out of my head,、uh -huh. uh, for starters,、uh, something you can try to begin with would be to chew gum,、mm. chewing gum. Okay. And studies suggest that jaw movements can interfere with auditory memories and imagined sounds. So for some reason, if you move your jaw. Nom, nom, Uh, chew gum. Don't、mm. chew betel nut. That stuff's bad for your gums.、Uh, you can chew gum, and then that might interfere with those auditory memories. Auditory means it has something to do with your sense of hearing, like your auditory nerves inside your head, or auditory lessons、uh, in school, auditory、mm -hmm. uh, stimulation, etc. Now, if that doesn't work, here's another idea: you can pick up a book and read a novel. You know, get your brain involved in a story, some piece of fiction, or you could try to work on some anagrams. An anagram is when you take letters and you rearrange the order, and it turns into a new word. For example, if I have the word cinema, I could、uh -huh. rearrange the words, and they turn into ice man. Hey, very good example there. There are pre plenty of other examples too. I can't think of any right now, but that's the point here.、Uh, try to think of some ways to make new words, like maybe the word "some" here. You could go、uh, "mias" or "moes" or something like that.、Uh, use your imagination, and those things would distract you and focus on something else, and you might therefore, as a result, forget about that song that、yeah. is driving you crazy. Oh no, that reminds me of an old Tom T. Hall song, which ah,、uh, just or how to go? It's um, that song is a drive me crazy. I gotta hear it again. But in any case, <laughs> <laughs> that's just another reference here. But in any case, yes, we have the word distract here. That means to、uh, stop you from giving full attention to something,、yeah. to make you distracted,、uh, make you not concentrate. And of course, you don't want to be distracted when you're taking a test. You sure don't. Well, unfortunately. Neither, or as some people pronounce this word, neither.、Uh, they're both correct. You can pick the one you want. I say neither, but a lot of people say neither. Neither of these methods is going to be a hundred percent effective all the time. If you guarantee something, you say something is going to happen for sure. And if something's effective, it does what it's supposed to do. Hopefully,、uh, your medicine is effective and it works the way it's supposed to. Well, thus you might have to deal with the melody of paparazzi, a song that might be in your brain as an earworm, and it might be bouncing around in your head until. It eventually fades away.、Uh, things will bounce. 
bounce around in our head.、Uh, if you take kids to a playground, they might be bouncing around the playground, jumping up and down, doing things like that. That's what bouncing around is. And、mm. if something fades away, it slowly leaves you. Oh no!、Uh, a song can fade away.、Uh, a feeling can fade away. A song at the end kind of fades away. You know. Oh no! That reminds me of the old Buddy Holly song, "Fade or Not Fade Away." It's called,、Uh-oh. and then of course, bouncing around reminds me of that old stupid fifty song, "Rubber Ball." I come bouncing back to you.、Uh, why do we have to study this lesson now? I've got these earworms all over my、oh, head.、No. Help me, please! I'm going crazy. But right now, we're going to take a break and listen once again to our Chinese teacher. 接着，我们来看到第三个空格的句子写着 ：Yet this isn't the only situation. Blank three year worms crawl. 然而啊，这并不是唯一一种状态。那么，在这种状态当中呢，洗脑哥呢就渐渐的爬进来。为什么我们用 crawl 这个字呢？正因为它有爬行、蠕动来代表呢。前面 year warm 就像虫一样的爬进你的脑海当中。在这里，我们要来选择的是 A 选项的 in which， 指的是 in the situation year worms crawl。就在这样的情态当中，洗脑哥就爬进你的脑海当中了。In which 后面加的呢，就是一个完整的句子，在这里有地方副词的意味存在。所以第三题，我们正确答案就选择 A 选项。在这里举了一个例子，我们来看第四个空格。For example, a person blank for Justin Bieber's hit "Baby" on the radio when they were feeling depressed as a teenager. 在这里举了一个例子来说，某人在青少年阶段感到沮丧的时候呢，然后在广播当中听到这个小贾斯丁的畅销曲，可能在多年之后就会又想起来。那么我们用来叙述以前可能有听过，所以呢搭配文艺，然后我们用 may 再加上完成式来代表，也许可能发生过这样的。情形，所以搭配句意，第四题的标准答案我们就选择 C。May have heard。第五个空格的句子写着 ：If an earworm is plant five, you insane. There are some ways to dislodge it from your brain. 如果洗脑哥一直要把你怎么样疯了，那么是有一些方法的。那么在这里呢，我们常常说 drive somebody insane。或者是 drive somebody crazy， 都是有要让某人快发疯，所以搭配正确的动词。第五题的标准答案，我们就选择 D driving。第六个空格 ，study suggest that jaw movements can blank six auditory memories and imagined sounds。其实研究显示呢，如果你的下颚多活动，就可以怎么样？听觉记忆跟想象中的声音。第六题呢，我们可以选择的是 C 选项 ，interfere with 有干扰、妨碍。如果下颚多动一动，它就可以妨碍这些你不想要的听觉记忆跟想象中的声音。第六题答案就选择 C，interfere with。第七个句子 ，Unfortunately, blank seven of these methods is guaranteed to be one hundred percent effective. 这里提到两个方法可以让你呢不想要再听到这些洗脑歌。可惜呀、啊，不幸的是，这两个当中没有一个保证百分百有效。在英文里面，两者之中没有一个，那么我们就选择 neither。所以第七题正确答案就选择 B。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。Thanks for joining us, everyone. We hope you、uh, had a good time learning more about that weird phenomenon that we've、uh, all experienced, and that's earworms in the brain. And we hope that、uh, in the future, your earworms will be songs that you actually enjoy. But we don't、hearing. want your earworms to interfere with your English study. So、no. please come back with a clear mind next time, and we'll <laughs> see you then. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye.